Okay, let's do a video on layout here. Uh, this is going to be for apprentices. Until um, you're either getting into it or uh, you're looking to get into it. And this is how you do it. So we've been given a set of drawings and we have to uh, take this and find our can holes and do that. So we're in a commercial setting, concrete building, uh, apartment. Uh, this is So this is for commercial guys that are laying out. Uh, so you have to check your drawings and layout with other trades first and foremost second you have to know your ceiling height Because you have to be above it um, You have to be in the wall You always have to you typically have to offset high have never really offsetted low before uh, Avoid using a 45 through drywall in commercial you always have to be straight uh, I have used the 45 on some jobs and they've but it was kind of like, well, we can't do anything else. We need the 45 here. And it was talked about. And then they said, okay. Uh, but you can't be 45, especially not through firewalls. Uh, fire separation. <clears throat> so first thing you got to know is how to make a 45. This in commercial setting are just going to be doing what I'm going to explain to you. And that's really all you need to know to be successful for years to come. Uh, so we always fight, try to find a triangle. How do we do that? So let's say this is 24 inch, 24 inches from center of... Uh, so we... Uh, okay, let's start. If we're on the ceiling, we're going to mark centers of cans with pencils on the edges so center and then a center here center there if you want and center there i usually just mark two because i've been kind of doing it for a while um then we're going to uh measure off plywood lines is going to be the fastest um people might say in the comments or whatever oh well that's not the most accurate uh measuring off plywood lines off the ceiling you should be uh measuring off a wall uh, and and then putting a mark with your pencil on the ceiling, mark with your pencil on your ceiling over here, and then snapping a chalk line. Or if you're, uh, you might have the opportunity to lay it out on the ground and then just laser up. Uh, or you're measuring off a wall and then using your laser uh, to bring to get a true edge to bring your whole project closer to you for something to measure off of. So you always need something to measure off of. Typically you can see guys measuring off of ripped off plywood lines off the ceiling in commercial setting. Um, <clears throat> this lav, so yeah, then we would just go, we have our centers as we've marked here. So let's say this is 12 inches, 12 inches, and you can now snap a line for this lav to bring it down and make sure that it's straight. Um, if you want to know how to get a 45, 24 inches from here to here, uh, 24 inches from here to here, 24 inches from here to here, and then when you have your square, you just snap a line straight through, and then as you get faster, you'll just be making these three marks right there. Um, so <clears throat> we always start from our can hole. Typically, we uh, rip off a uh, Three, we rip off a three by two pretty quick uh, for a double Y and we go I typically lay out straight to the water closet just to establish a main which is really common you always want to establish a main and a solid point and then from here 24 inches over make my little square <clears throat> um, then you would be going past this center mark typically and you would just be measuring off the plywood line and you would have this kind of connection where the 45 has gone past where we're actually connecting we memorize all of our fittings this 45 two inches from the center line here back make mark two inches forward uh for our lav two 45s cast iron put together is five inches something like that i'm a little bit rusty um and then we would go so we mark center of can, five inches back. And then we would just measure right in between. We would write our piece on the ceiling of cast iron. And we would do the same, so two inches back. Um, typically I take a Y and put it on the ceiling and actually physically mark it. Uh, when I was a little bit uh, doing this, when I get into it, then I, I kind of remember the way to do this and just mark it out. but don't right now that's okay and then this piece you just put your y on the ceiling mark it out 
then you just take this and measure right in between um this and then you just mirror that for your shower right here we mark our centers um measuring off of plywood and uh we already have established our y right here um and typically with your project manage your project management team has already uh established where they want you to where they want want you to rip off this y and so you got to be referencing those drawings as well. So this uh, shower is going to be seven and a half inches back for the P-trap. And we would just mirror the same thing, kind of go right off of our Y, mark our center of our Y. Cent yeah, when we put our Y to the ceiling, just mark all the centers. And then you'll be able to go off that and you would be measuring off of plywood lines or laser line, chalk line, grid line you've lasered up or so, yeah, uh, measured off of a column if that's nearby you. But you're gonna find it's pretty typical for guys to measure off the plywood lines. Um, so if you're on the floor, you're gonna laser up to the these cans and I've never done it any other way. You gotta have a laser level for this. You laser the center. Mark it with your pencil on the floor. Uh, laser your center this way. Mark it on your pencil on the floor. Uh, obvious, and then uh, again, yeah, you would do that for all three and then you would have all your cans. Uh, you know exactly where you gotta go and what you gotta avoid at this point because you've laid out with other trades. Your foreman has told you what to do or you've been given a little set of drawings. And then you would measure off the wall with your pencil snap a line or laser a line uh you're measuring off of a wall grid lines um or you've snapped a chalk line off of a wall <clears throat> and then you have this and you have your can centers and then you would just replicate what i did on the ceiling figure out what your spacing is for cast iron don't put your hangers dead center in the middle always put them off to the side uh one side and uh obviously the, the side that's going to be grading up the smarter side <laughs> and then uh make if you can't flip the nut for your hanger to gain more room closer to your ceiling you can always use a riser clamp the boss doesn't like you to see you use a riser clamp because it costs them way more money. So don't be going that high all the time.